All right, we got one more mover that I want to point out, and that's Nike. Um, we're watching those shares after Morgan Stanley. Uh, you can see the shares are down 2%. Morgan Stanley analysts said near-term inventory challenges could potentially make the sportswear giant go below 2024 consensus expectations. Analysts also noting the recent North American and Europe sportswear checks suggest that the demand for mass, these mass products in this category has seen a slowdown. So interesting here that we are seeing this. Um, by the way, Nike is one of these other ones that is not on the same calendar that most other companies are on. It is set to report its numbers on June 29th. So again, has a different quarter here. Uh, Steve Sosnick still with us of Interactive Brokers. We talked a little bit about consumer goods already, Mm -hmm. but I do want to touch on Nike because it is such a giant here, and it is interesting how much trouble the goods producers have had to get their inventories right. Seemingly, uh, many of them have, but Nike, you know, is such a big company. I guess there's some, it's tricky to do. It's also a fashion company, and fashion fashion companies have a that it, it, you know, you have this added dif- difficulty in terms of getting your inventory right because you not only have to figure out how many widgets you have in your warehouse, you have to figure out if those are the widgets that people want to be buying right now. And sneakers, um, you know, people definitely um, in, a, in, a, in an era where most people have jobs, where income is good, that's going to be one of the things people are going to spend their money on. I, I got to admit, I'm not enough of a sneakerhead to tell you which which are the best fashion choices right now. I would hope that someone at Nike can, but but every fashion company has a bad has a bad year, you know, from time to time. They get they guess the trends wrong, um, you know. And so the question is, have they move, have people moved to other footwear brands mm. and away from Nike, or are they just not buying sneakers? Or do they just say, I've got an, I got enough dunks. Yep. I'm taking a break, right? Maybe yep. maybe I'm spending on that flight to Europe instead, and I'm going to wear the shoes I already had versus buying new ones for the trip, I guess, is part of it. I was just checking, um, double checking on when the period ended here. And indeed, it was the end of May that we saw the end of Nike's quarter. So as you mentioned, you might see some changing dynamics here because of that, um, the timing differences. Absolutely. You know, so are customers not spending or are they not spending on Nike? They, they, they may or may not be super forthcoming. How do we figure, how do we figure that out? I think you have to see what happens when other footwear manufacturers yeah. come out. You have to hear from some of the retailers. I, you know, what is finish line saying? Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, you have to put the whole puzzle together. But, but, that's, but that's really the challenge, though, when you're dealing with anything that involves, I'm going to say, you know, it's fashion. Nike is fashion. Um, you, you just don't know. That's been the problem of, of people in the garment business, you know, for time immemorial. Am yes. I, am I, am Aren't I, you in the garment? Weren't you? Don't you come from a garment business family? Um, Do some, I remember that yeah, correctly? Yeah, somewhat. Not not specifically, but I was my none of my immediate family were okay. were, were garmentos, as it were. Garmentos. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe Nike numbers could come out and they could show strength, and that people are actually buying their shoes. We'll, yes. we'll find out. Absolutely. In a little more than a week, Steve. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it.